it's time for competition news, everyone. Brr, 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 competition news. First of all, we are going to start with um, a results roundup. Okay. Thank you very much to Liam, Liam Waddock, for uh, putting all of these results together for me. I was writing the script early and I just kind of messaged him going, ah, can you just do that? Just make this happen, please, Liam. And he did, because he's a legend. Um, so, popping off Pukekohe, the very aptly named popping off Pukekohe, everyone popped off. Let's have a review of all the NRs, because it was wild. Um, Dwayne Ramos, staff member Dwayne Ramos, he took, finally, he took the NR average on 3x3 three three with a 6.72. Amazing. Angela Braganza, Angela in the chat, fastest woman in the world at 4x4, four four, official female world record. Uh, she took the 24.97 single and the 27.84 average in 4x4. Four four. The national records and the fastest female 4x4 solver in the world. That's amazing. Uh, Alexander crushed the Mega Minx average. He took the 37.73. Tim G took the square one single, 6.3. Adrian took the average, of course, 7.54. Those two on square one, outrageous. Uh, Liam then took the 5.66 clock NR average as well. Which was amazing. How he didn't get the single. How he didn't get the single in there as well. I've forgotten what the clock single is. Is it a four? Is the NR clock single a four? I believe it is. And I believe it's uh, I believe it's Liam's. Popping off Pukekohe was incredible. Now. Can we please have big rips in the chat? Big vibes rips in the chat for the New Zealand NR streak. 2009 to 2022, you will be missed. Died at the grand old age of... Wait, I'm just going to do maths. Oh, Christ. 13? 13 years old at uh, Wellington Mind Games, 2022. RIP. You will be missed. Um, but that's all right. It had to end one day. It had to end someday. It's, in fact, it's my fault. Look, I take personal uh, responsibility because I should have sent someone from the Supreme Team there. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. If that had happened, there would have been an NR. There would have been an NR. Here they come. Here come the rips. Oh, so sad. Um, okay. Let's talk about upcoming competitions, shall we? Because the NR streak's in the past. It's time for a new one. What's coming up? First of all, Palmerston North, February the 19th at the uh, Community Leisure Centre, the Neville Butler Hall, to be specific. Registration is open now and closes on Tuesday 15th. Hold on a minute. I just remembered. Oh, no, but all my tabs closed. I was going to go and look at the events. See if I can remember the events for Palmerston North. I think... There's square, there's cubic stuff, and there's pyraminx, and there's skew, and I think that's it. Let's see if we can do it. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to show you my history, so let's uh, let's just do history without showing you the screen just now. Do do do. World Cube Association. That's not how you spell that, Michael. World Cube Association, Palmerston North. Let's flick to the... Look at that. Palmerston North 2022. We did it, everyone. We did it. All right, what's happening in the chat? JJ Cuber. The... Wow, the... The streak was almost as old as JJ Cuber. Oh my god, I think it's older than Elias. It's so depressing. Uh, Pammy North, let's have a look at the events, shall we? We've got 3x3, 2x2, 4x4, 5x5, OH, Pyraminx, and Skew. Oh, Chris just put it in the chat. Uh, Saws about it. Am I logged in? No, I'm not, for goodness sake. This is what happens when I get everything set up and then have to reset everything. Um, if we can just go to all and then go to... Actually, Chris can just tell us in the chat what's a little tin. I think it's just 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3 blind... And, um, three blind and OH, right? 
That sounds about right. So yeah, the um, the Littleton Autumn 2022, March 5th and 6th at the Littleton Rec Centre, same place as it was last time. It's kind of Chris's going away competition. It's um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be emotional. Chris is leaving us. First the NR streak and now Chris, you know? It's an emotional time in New Zealand speed cubing at the moment. Here we go. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Liam. Let's go. Seven by seven. Um, blindfolded and one-handed. All the cubic stuff. Um, and yeah, I was talking about one in Hanmer Springs. That's a work in progress. Now, um, and by work in progress, I mean I've said it out loud and that's all I've done. I don't want anyone getting too excited about Hanmer Springs. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Registration opened yesterday. Closes on March the 1st. We have no update yet um, about how many people have entered so far. Unless it's been uh, updated in the last few minutes. Oh, dang! <laughs> it's been updated literally since the, since the uh, stream crashed. Alex is going. Alex Lee is going. Anarin, Chris, Cooper, David, Finn. Oh, David Lim! Isaac Brewster, Jacob O'Callaghan, Joel O'Callaghan, Liam O'Callaghan, the O'Callaghan family. Hitting it hard. Tom Stanton Barnett. Look at that as well. Uh, Liam needs mod. I'll sort that out after the stream, uh, Liam. I beg your pardon. Do you think I should have... Do you think I should not have the, street, the, the chat delay? Is that a thing? Focus, mate. Competitions. Now, here's one. We were going to try and do South Island Championships in April. But the way it is with the red traffic light system, it just can't happen at the moment. With the venue we were trying to get for it, um, the delegates and Speedcubing NZ were working super hard to get a killer venue for South Island Championships. Um, we can't use that venue at in April. We just can't. Um, so SIC is going to be later in the year. We don't know yet when yet exactly. Um, we don't know exactly when yet, but it will be later in the year. More information will become available as it comes available, basically. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but we can't. Um, it is what it is. It's the Rona. Uh, we can't. Um, we can't really. Uh, we can't really do anything about it now. That's pretty much competition news. No, you know what? What did I want to talk about in competition? I wanted to talk about. This is a new section that I'm naming right now. It's called Who the Hell is That? Who? And I don't have the information right in front of me, but who was the young man who was eight years old and absolutely slaying it in, uh, in 3x3 with a sub 9 average? What was that? That was amazing. Who was that? Where has he come from? I believe it's his second competition and the first time he was averaging something like 20. Um, uh, lots of people campaigning for Auckland for the South Island Championships. Chances are slim. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, but yeah, that's my new section called Who the Hell is That? Um, who is that kid? That's amazing. JJ Cuba, am I going to the Oceanic Champs in Melbourne? I would love to. Vincent Chang. Eight years old. Sub nine, three by three average. That's wild. Um, what we need to do is leave Vincent alone at his next competition. Because what I heard was in the first round, he got that sub nine average. Absolutely killed it. Then everyone was like, oh, Vincent, Vincent. Who are you? Where's Vincent? I'm going to go talk to him. He may have got psyched out for the, uh, for the finals. So let's just give Vincent some space. He's only little. Um, but that's amazing. That's amazing. So big shout out to Vincent.